Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today we're going to be building a super cool project. This here is a robotic arm made almost completely out of paper and paper rolls. To start the build off, we're going to start by building the round base, and for that we're going to need a compass. So I get my compass and I draw out what the base is going to look like, and I just draw this out onto some foam board. Once I have it all drawn out, we can go ahead and just quickly cut out our, the shape of our base. Now that that's done, we can pop it out, and as you can see, this is a perfect circle. Now we're going to go ahead and do a few rolls of paper for the structure of our robotic arm. So for this I grab a big straw and I roll the paper up into a nice cylinder. And this is going to be the very smallest paper cylinder that we make. The next few cylinders that we're going to make are going to be a size bigger. So for that, instead of rolling it around the straw, we are actually going to want to roll it around the paper cylinder that we already made. So these next ones will be one size bigger. And as you can see, those are the bigger ones, and on the left is the smaller one. And as you can see, the smaller one fits perfectly inside the bigger one. And we're going to be using that little rotating idea to make hinges for various parts of our robotic arm. So now we want to find the center of this, and then cut a hole. And this is going to be the first rotating part of our robotic arm, actually. So we're going to stick one of the smaller cylinders through. And then after that, it's glued into place, we can throw a bigger cylinder over top. So that basically rotates on it and that can be the rotating base for our robotic arm. Now we'll go ahead and cut our big cylinder to size and then we can make sure it fits right over top. And as you can see it rotates pretty nicely. Now we're going to attach some more large cylinders around the outside just to add to our rotating base. Once that's all done, we'll add another rotating piece to the very top of it. So a big cylinder followed by a small cylinder on the inside of it. Now we're going to measure out a few pieces for the actual arm of our robotic arm. And I'm going to add some glue to that and glue it onto the rotating piece that we have here. And we'll actually make this three wide just to give it some structure and a nice cool look. Now we go ahead and complete both sides and then I'm actually going to make the base a little wider just because it looks disproportional compared to the, the top half at this point. So now we want something to cover up our ugly little joint that we just made. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a foam ball in half with a, just a normal kitchen knife. And then we can glue each half of the foam ball to each side of this rotating joint that we have right here. Now I get this folded up piece of red construction paper that I found and I'm going to just add it to the back side of our joint here just so it makes a little bit of a accordion type design so when it goes up it kind of folds and then when it, we push the arm down it extends. And I'm also going to just add a little red plate here just for aesthetic purposes. Next we're going to start coming up with our next hinge and this is going to be for the second part of our robotic arm. So we can glue that into place like we did with the previous one 
And then again, we're going to attach some arms onto the end of this hinge. Now that that's done, we can just glue it in place. Now I noticed with the weight of the arm, it was leaning a bit, so I decided we need a bit of a solid structure on the bottom of this. So I just cut out a piece of cardboard and threw it on the bottom real quick. Now we're going to need another rotating piece, and this is going to be what the syringe connects to. And the syringes are basically going to be used for uh, pushing this arm up and down. And we're going to get another rotating piece and put it in there, and I actually have to use a toothpick to glue it into place just because it's so far down. Now the syringe was a bit long, so I broke off the top half of it, just to make it the right size for me. And I cut the edges out too, just to make this one a little thinner. Now I can put this one into place on the joints that I just put in there. And then now I'm going to need another syringe for this other joint that we have. So again, a rotating piece. And as you notice, there's a pattern here, the syringes are always attached to rotating pieces. And that's just because when they're getting longer, they, um, if they're on a fixed joint, it'll tear itself off the joint. So we always need rotating joints that these are attached to. Now we're going to need something to make this whole arm rotate left and right. So this is what we're building next. And again, same pattern, we're going to need some of these rotating paper joints to attach our syringe to. Now that that's done, we have to make a little grabber. So I'm going to use some gears and then trace out the shape that I want my grabber to be. Now that that's done, I want to glue the gears on the inside of the grabber, and then as you can see, they mesh there perfectly, so that when one grabber turns, the other grabber should turn too. Now I put them in place, and as you can see, it seems to work pretty well, actually. So now let's glue this down into place, but first we'll put our little syringe in place, and this syringe is going to be the one that controls the grabbers. And then we're going to drill a little hole in one of the gears, and we're going to attach just a little piece of metal, you can use a clothes hanger or a paper clip, and just stick it in there so that when the syringe goes out, it turns the gear. Now let's fill up these syringes. So I fill it up with water, and then I push all of the air out of the tube that we're using, just to get all the air out of the system. And then I fill that all back up with water. And then once you have all your four syringes ready, you can go ahead and attach that to the syringes on the robotic arm. And then we can go ahead and do a quick test to make sure everything works well, and then squeeze everything into place. And as you can see, the arm works pretty well. little more testing before we do the finishing touches. We can move it left and right, up and down. We can open the grabber, we can close the grabber. Basically everything we need. So now that we know that works well, we can go ahead and attach these syringes to their base. Now with all that done, let's see if we can go ahead and pick something up. So we're going to try on a pop can, and as you can see I'm a little slow at picking it up because it's hard to remember what each syringe does, but in the end we do get the pop can in the air, which is pretty awesome.
So that's about the end of this video. I want to thank you for watching to the end of it. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. You can see all my other awesome content. Now, thanks for watching.